Hi, you're face to face with Shell. In this video, I want to talk about what I call backhanded comments. And as you know, I was burnt when I was 13 years old in a gas explosion in Spain. I'd got to a point where I felt really quite confident in going out. Um, there was a time when I still wore my full makeup if I went out and about. I was just starting to get to know my now husband and we were in one of our favourite rock pubs and we got chatting to a group of guys and I thought one of the guys looked like a celebrity and I told him so and I thought I was giving him a compliment but he took this totally the wrong way. He then turned around and said to me that my makeup was horrible, I didn't know what I was doing, and that his girlfriend's makeup was far better than mine. I stood my ground and I said to him, well, if you actually knew what was underneath this makeup, i.e. I have scars, I have all different skin tones, and I was very proud of what I had managed to achieve with my makeup. And I told him so. He then, he didn't apologise, but he then started telling me that he had put on a lot of weight because he had been in an accident. I think he'd broken his leg and he couldn't be as active as he wanted to be and had put on quite a bit of weight. And this is where he took umbrage to me calling, well, saying that he was like this celebrity. After that, though, um, he did open up to me and he chatted a, a bit more about what had happened and we ended up having a really good night. And I want to talk to you about a time when I was at college. I was about 19 and again, I, I was I was okay with, with how I was looking. Um, not as confident as in the story I've just told you, but I, I was feeling okay. And we all had to get up and speak for in the first day to to let everyone know a bit about us. So I had decided to get up and just tell everyone what had happened to me. I thought, get it out of the way. No one is then thinking, oh, I wonder what happened to her. The, the class was a, a bit more mature students. And it was fine. I didn't do it, as I said, for sympathy. I'd just done it because I wanted people to know what had happened. And then we can just get, you know, we can forget about it and we can get on with getting to know each other. A while afterwards, the, the men in the group, um, they had been talking and they said to me, you know, that that was good that you got up and told us and we had been chatting about it and we said... Oh, you know, she would have been a beautiful girl if that hadn't happened to her, if she hadn't been burned. And then one of the men said, and then we thought, you know what? She is a beautiful girl. Which was really, really nice of them. I didn't take offence to it at all. Um, and I know they, they didn't mean anything by it at all. And I know they really thought that they were giving me a compliment. And, and they were, because they didn't mean any malice by it whatsoever. But then, in hindsight, it's made me think about what I said to that guy in the bar. I mean, I in no way meant it an offence in any way at all. But I think it it makes me understand that just in everyday life, you know, things can be said out of context. And I can say things, we all can say things that are not meant. And just to bear this in mind, we, we have no idea what anyone else has gone through. I want to give a huge shout out to my new subscribers. Thank you so, so much. If you haven't already, it would be really appreciated if you would give me a like, a subscribe and a share. And please remember to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos. Stay strong and we'll chat soon. Bye.